biophilic design. An approach to interior design that focuses on the connection between humans and nature. It helps us feel better, increases our productivity and contributes to sustainability. Welcome to today's video. In this video, we'll look at the history and importance of biophilic design, the basic principles, how to apply it in your home or work environment, and showcase inspiring examples from around the world. Let's get started. Although biophilic design may sound like a new concept, its roots go deep into the past. With the development of modern design and urbanization, we have become increasingly isolated from nature. Fortunately, in recent decades, we have begun to return to natural elements in our environment. Biophilic design has many positive impacts on our health and well-being. By incorporating natural elements into our interiors, we reduce stress, improve air quality and increase our well-being. There is a lot of research that confirms the positive influence of nature on us. For example, one study found that patients in hospitals with green views recovered faster than those with views of buildings. Now that we've learned about the history and importance of biophilic design, let's take a look at its basic principles and how we can apply them to our interiors. Biophilic design is based on three main principles. Direct contact with nature, indirect contact with nature and spatial and architectural solutions. Direct contact with nature includes the presence of plants, natural light and water in the interiors. This may include windows overlooking green spaces, gardens, terraces or aquariums. Indirect contact with nature includes the use of natural materials, textures and colors in the interior. This may include wooden floors, stone walls or textiles with natural motifs. Spatial and architectural solutions include biomimicry, natural patterns, and proportions in construction. These can be roof gardens, facades of greenery or organic furniture shapes. Now we will look at some tips and advice on how to get started with biophilic design in your home or work environment. Incorporating live plants and natural materials into your decor. Start by incorporating live plants into your spaces to improve air quality and add life to the interior. In addition, use natural materials such as wood, stone or wool in furniture and accessories. Create a connection with the outdoors, windows, patios, gardens. Create a connection with the outdoors through windows overlooking green spaces, terraces or balconies that offer access to nature. Also consider creating an indoor garden or conservatory as part of your home. Choose natural colors and textures to create a sense of relaxation and calm. Be guided by nature when choosing colors and textures. Choose muted, natural shades such as greens, browns or blues to create a sense of calm and relaxation. Also use fabrics with natural patterns and motifs such as leaves, flowers or water features. Now we'll take a look at some great examples and inspirations that show what biophilic design looks like in practice. You can get inspiration for your own home or work environment. Here we see a living room where biophilic design is used to highlight natural elements. A large window to the garden, natural materials such as wood and stone, and green plants create a calming atmosphere in which we feel great. In this office, we can see how biophilic design aids employee productivity and well-being. Green walls, natural materials and spaces for relaxation increase concentration and satisfaction. Restaurants can also create a unique atmosphere by using biophilic design. This restaurant uses green walls, wooden elements, and natural light to create a welcoming environment where guests can enjoy their meal in harmony with nature. You can apply the biophilic design to any room in your home, from the bedroom to the bathroom or the work area. By using natural materials, plants, and natural light, you can create an environment that calms you and promotes your well-being. In addition to its positive impact on our health and well-being, biophilic design can also contribute to sustainability and environmental friendliness. Use recycled or sustainably sourced materials. By using recycled or sustainably sourced materials, we can make a significant contribution to the sustainability of our interiors. Let's take a look at some examples of how to achieve this. FSC certified wood guarantees that the wood comes from responsibly managed forests. By using this wood in the production of furniture, flooring or decorative elements, we support sustainable forest management. 
Recycled materials can be used to make furniture or decorations. This reduces waste and saves the planet's resources. Another option is sustainably sourced materials such as bamboo, cork wood or linen fabrics. These materials have less environmental impact than traditional building materials, while providing a beautiful and natural look. Irrigation and energy saving solutions for plants and lighting. We will now look at irrigation and energy saving solutions that can help conserve natural resources and reduce energy costs. When it comes to plants, you can introduce water saving irrigation systems such as drip irrigation or automatic watering. These systems help keep plants healthy and save water by delivering it directly to the roots of the plants. When it comes to lighting, energy efficient solutions such as LED bulbs can significantly reduce the energy consumption of the interior. LED bulbs consume less energy and have a longer lifespan than traditional bulbs. Finally, let's not forget the importance of natural lighting. Large windows and glazed doors can provide plenty of daylight and contribute to energy savings on artificial lighting. Support local craftsmen and artists in interior design. It is also important to support local artisans and artists in interior design. Supporting local craftsmen and artists in the selection of interior decoration and furniture has several benefits. Firstly, this reduces the environmental impact associated with transport, as the products are sourced from nearby. And secondly, we support the local economy and contribute to our community by buying from local artists and craftspeople. Biophilic design is gaining popularity and becoming a key aspect of sustainable design, bringing about changes in architecture and interior design. Biophilic design is also gaining popularity in commercial and public spaces, demonstrating its wide range of applications. In the future, we can expect innovations and technologies such as virtual gardens, intelligent plants and advanced materials that mimic natural properties. Think about your own relationship with nature and consider how you can improve your environment, well-being and sustainability through biophilic design. Thank you for joining our exploration of the world of biophilic design today. Today we've explored the importance of biophilic design for human health and well-being, practical tips for applying biophilic design indoors, inspiration from real-world examples, and the importance of sustainability in biophilic design. Let us know what your experiences with biophilic design are and what topics you would like us to cover in the future. Don't forget to leave a comment below the video. If you liked this video, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and watch for more videos on similar topics that we will add regularly. We look forward to seeing you next time.